Custom-made stencils can be a very cool, productive and time-saver tool for any art project, but typical design and manufacturing costs are astronomical and therefore out of reach for most artists. However, that's all changing. With the help of SelfCAD's unique artistic modeling tools, you can design any stencil in just minutes and 3D print them for a fraction of the cost. Interested? Then stay with us and watch this tutorial. For our first design, we will create a stencil with nice leaves. And for that, we first need to create the base from which we will cut out the leaf pattern. Create a cube. You can find it in the 3D shape section. Set depth to 1.3 and apply. Now the base is ready. Now we need to create our leaf pattern. For this, use Image to 3D tool and choose the pattern. Image to 3D will give different results based on the quality and type of image used. So we need to adjust the settings to get the output we need. Set resolution to 250, tolerance to 0.8, amount to minus 8, blur to 3, and switch on anti-aliasing to make our model smoother. To position the leaves onto the base, use scale with keep portion on. You can find it in the advanced settings. This is the fastest way to scale proportionately. Our base is 100, so set X to 85, and this will leave us a margin of 15 divided by both sides. Then open the Align Utility, select our existing model, and set Align to the middle, so our model is positioned in the center now. Now we need to cut the pattern from the base. We will do it the easiest way. Select both objects and use Stitch and Scoop tool with Option Difference. Choose our pattern in the dropdown, so it will be cut out and the stencil is almost ready. Quite simple, right? No artwork tutorial is complete without showing how to add a watermark. So I will add a self get logo to illustrate how to do it, while at the same time show other Image 3D settings we did not use before. As you can see, I'm using the Image 3D tool again, but now the logo is cut out instead of the background. To change this, use the flip background option. I will also change the amount a little. Then scale with the portion option on to 25 on X. And rotate it by 90 on X. I see I need to scale it a bit more on Y. Then to position, select the move tool, switch on the magnet and move it onto the stencil. As you can see the magnet makes it automatically stick to the other objects. This was so quick and easy. Now I want to show you an interesting way to copy and automatically position the same logo on the other side as well. Open the copy offset tool, select the pivot option and make one copy. Then just rotate and the design is done. Now to print our model, correctly merge all objects, then apply magic fix with 250 value to fix and solidify all objects and we are all done. 